pouring rain. Happy Halloween. Seattle is absolutely pouring rain tonight. I've got my first test of FSD 14 here with Jay Bilchi, 2025 Model Y. Juniper edition, 14.1. Can't even, the camera can't even really see out the window because it's such a situation. Yeah, like this is it's insane. It's degraded, but it's not really acting degraded. Yeah, like it's, it is, like I know the cameras makes it look like it's hard to see out of the windshield. Like it is really hard to see, but that we are fully self-driving right now. So, we just had a little smooth lane change. I mean, this is, and the Aurora is so annoying, the street we're on right now. And we are about to get on this bridge that has the skinniest lanes middle lane, the skinniest lanes of all time. It will give you 100% anxiety driving on it. So FSD is a lifesaver. Well, actually I would prefer FSD driving now than me just because it's so shitty out. Yeah, but that's like, what I'm I saying. Feel safer. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm even saying. Even though it's 14, even though it's got a little bit of quirks here and there. Have you been liking 14 so far? It does a lot of things better and a lot of things more timidly, not necessarily worse. Yeah. Um, I would say I actually had this theory. It could be controversial, but... Let's, let's hear it. Okay, we're on the bridge now. Like, this is crazy. As this is absurd. See, like, FSD has slowed down because they realized the lanes are so narrow, and this guy's kind of encroaching. This guy right here is barely in his lane. And there's flagpoles that you can't even see, like, maybe a foot away. Oh, yeah, no, we can see him. We can see him right there. Yep. Um, anyway, wow. so he here's my, like, theory, which is whenever there's a major FSD release, yeah, it's a little bit timid, but I think mostly it's people relearning the new software which has new like quirks uh -huh. or habits and them feeling like it's worse because they gotta learn something new like the, the car is evolving and the human driver has to evolve Ooh, like this it. guy just totally is like basically in our lane so we and had we to slow down now there's a hard curve to my left and the lanes will widen a little bit so that's why we're accelerating wow but and to be honest, I can't even see the lanes right That's now. That's what I'm saying. Like this is, it's, it's, it looks like the camera's bad, but it's not. Like the visibility right now is awful. And, uh, oh, but the other thing I was gonna mention is it is a little jerky and cautious because it's optimized in this first update, the 14.1 optimized for safety. Then they begin optimizing for comfort. So that's why we did a couple rides earlier and it didn't quite pass the girlfriend test because it was a little too jerky, but. Yeah. But it's because it's being optimized have, for have safety, they, which is interesting. Have they ever figured out the, like, the, um, the theory that FSD, like, the release learns over time? Like, is that real or is that perceived? Like, Do does 14.1 get better? Yeah. I don't know if people are watching because people, people say they that. should comment on that because I don't that There's I don't been know some people who say that it learns well you could say that that's the same algorithm with more data maybe okay but my theory is that that the collective people are getting more comfortable with it so they're thinking it's learning but it's them just I I think you're on to something with the theory of people getting used to it because I feel like I'm, I'm still on 12.6.4, which is amazing, but I feel like I'll disengage. Like, I almost know when to disengage, and I don't even think about it, you know? And yeah, I feel like it's, it's perfect. because you know it so well. Yeah. Okay, now we're about to get some action. I know we've been driving straight, but now we're about to get some big action. Um, we're about to exit. We're exiting here. This is can't a, even see, really, at all. This is crazy. Oh, we're gonna shit. come in here. It'll be nice. Slow down a little. Pull up to the light. Very, pretty smooth. So one thing that this version does a lot better is like, um, <clears throat> like if you're going fast on the highway, like traffic approaching, it's super smooth. Like it's just much more comfortable when it, it like it, it lets off much sooner than other versions. Nice. Which I like. Wait, what do you mean lets off? Like it's like, 
I don't know, I feel like other versions of FST will just keep going 65 or 70, but you as a human know that like you should start slowing down because you can see that traffic is stopping. Oh, ahead. that's happened to me a lot. And that's actually yeah. my main reason for disengaging on the highway is I feel like it's not slowing yeah. down fast enough and then it will like break a little uncomfortably fast. Yeah, so this version is like a lot better at that. Nice. Um, I mean, this is absolutely pouring. Now we see visibility's better. I, I think it's just because we're going a little slower, so the rain is not going. Maybe street lights. Too. Yep. We got a couple left. I mean, not not much. The problem is, it might be time to end the video because there ain't going to be much excitement left. It's, it's going to be flawless. We did it. We did. It went on Aurora, which is which is a tricky part. I mean, Seattle on Halloween. This is this is a genuine stress saver. Like, yeah, this is big time. Because I can be, you know, just monitoring rather than using all my brain to actually, like, drive and try and see. I could just... Ooh, all right, let's keep it. Ooh, there's a oh. human, cross at, human oh. crossing. Halloween, trick-or-treaters. We got an unprotected here. left. No problem. Perfect. No problem. Slow. I have noticed it's a little more human-like on, like, turns like that. Yeah. Like, it was very human-like right there. Like, it doesn't kind of follow exactly the map, but it follows, like, a smooth trajectory. Yeah, it feels very smooth in certain ways. This is a nice one. Ooh, and, so, okay, this, okay, I thought this was going to be boring, but these, this is a classic Seattle street, which I think is going to make Cyber Cab and RoboTaxi very difficult in Seattle, because what are you seeing here? This is a two-way street. There's room for one car. So if you, but, the, but there's cars parked everywhere. So if you see another car coming, you either got to back up or pull into one of these side spots. And this is almost every neighborhood street in Seattle. And these are like, this is very tricky. This is why I think Seattle, inner city Seattle is one of the more difficult. Uh, it's going to be a very difficult Ooh, we thing. We got trick or treaters. Oh, we got trick or treaters. Happy Halloween. And we're going slow and smooth. Slow and smooth. I mean... Not sure if the video is doing justice to how kind of tight this street is here, but I'm, I want to I want to see a car come. I want to see a car come in front of us so we can kind of have like a, a standoff here and see what FSD does. Yeah, because I've heard it will reverse. No, bro. I've seen a video or two of it in different situations, but I saw a video someone posted. Sorry, I forget your handle on Twitter, but. They were at like a red light and someone like reversed to try and get into the another lane mm -hmm. and then FSD reversed. Wow. When they when when they saw the, the car reversing ahead. That I have never heard of FSD reversing, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> this version Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is kind of two way here. Yeah, a little it little widened up a little. Damn, so it didn't even flinch at that. That was nice. Here's okay, this is tricky. Cross. This is tricky because uh, we have a stop. They, these guys do not, and there is it is impossible to see. How, you, we cannot see. It's a thirty miles an hour street, probably. I mean, this is making me nervous. It's almost like you got to gun it. There's zero visibility, and these guys I think are parked illegally, blocking our view, a little bit. Damn. I mean, this is this is where you need the superhuman vision. I think we'll do fine. I think once that side clears up, it'll creep a little bit and then go for it is my expectation. Yep. Because that side has a clear view. So see, creep, it's creep. creeping. But there's still a car that's about to come. And I think it'll creep again. And it went. Nice, and now we have an we have another tight road with another tight, car. car. Ooh, it's very tight right here. No problem though, not even a hesitation. Very smooth. Wow, and I think that's it. That wraps it up, folks. FSD fourteen pouring rain, perfect drive. Let's go. Thanks, Jay Field G for letting us ride along.